All right, dudes, we just got 80 in fishing. Uh, that is the first level 80 on the on the uh, on the stats. And also, if we look here, if we refresh this, one task left until we can unlock the next area. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna unlock as Garnia. Um, but let me see an easy one. Let me see if I can do Smith of Steel plate body. Also, we got <laughs> an agility level. Uh, we could actually try to do this easy clue because that might be um, a step. No, I can't do that. Oh, wait. I might be able to do that after. Um, so we'll get this medium one to see if we can do that one. Um, Barack Square. Yeah, we'll be able to do that one. Rip, dude. We did three steps and now we can't do that one. Oh, man. That's super annoying. Um... All right, here we go. That is the end of the Kandarin Diary Easies, and that is a task as well, which allows us to unlock the next area. And I have decided that I'm going to unlock uh, as Garnia, so we're going to unlock that now. Um, and then the last place is going to be Fremenic, probably. I'm pretty sure. We're going to unlock this now, and this reward lamp is 2.5k multiplied by eight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on to it until I get the fourth relic because then it will be times 12. Um, but yeah, we do get the head headlamp, the light source thing. I don't know if that's useful, but uh, yeah, we're going to keep this unique lamp in the inventory pretty much for a little bit. Uh, I'm going to try to knock off a bunch of tasks. Um, damn, dude, we need 160 tasks until the next area, so it'll be in our best interest to get a bunch of tasks done anyways. So we're going to smith a steel plate, and that should be 50 points. Easy peasy. Catch a monkfish, which is 100 points. Dude, that's an easy one, hundo. Catch a red salamander, which is a couple of different tasks. Um, that was 50 points for catch a swamp lizard or salamander, and then uh, another 50 points for catching a salamander. So we're at 3, 6, 10 now. Damn, guys, this guy just jumped right over the pit. Bruh. Let's see if he does it again. What? What are you doing, buddy? I'm gonna trap you. Come on. Come on. Oh, he won't. Oh, he's not gonna jump the same pit twice in a row? Jerk. Now I gotta make another pit over here. Alright, come get me, buddy. All right, don't jump over this one too. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. He jumped over it, dude. What the heck? Yo, what the heck? Is he gonna go over this one again? All right, we got you. Ha, ah, got him. Okay, we're gonna dismantle that. <laughs> That's 50 points, and um, I gotta get two more of these. Uh, He's um, first, so that I can make the full Laropia outfit. Say Laropia, yeah. So. All right, now we wear this, and it should be, yep, 50 more points. So the next thing I'm gonna do is catch a bunch of implants. I'm gonna go all the way to 200. That way, I get some more uh, points. All right, there's a task to catch a baby implant, and I haven't done it yet. So here we go. That is an easy task. What do we get from it? A chisel. <laughs> I don't want that. There we go, that is 50 of them. I'm trying to get a um, a talisman that's not a fire talisman, although that one will be nice. I'm trying to get an earth talisman from those guys too. Yes, we got an earth talisman so we can finish the Varrock Easy Diaries in a bit. There we go, that's 200, that's 100 points earned. Uh, and then we're also gonna make this into a hard leather body. Is that, oh, I thought that was a, ta a task. Maybe it's just a normal leather body, but yeah, we're definitely out of here because I don't like getting these guys. Although we did get two Torstals from uh, a Nature Implant, so that was pretty darn good. But we're getting pretty up there in the points. Uh, I need 130 to go until I get the next relic. Oh, that was 50 points for ke uh, completing the Falador one. I'm going to do 50 laps over here, though, uh, which should get me some more points. Yo, this is super fun. There's a queue here. <laughs> Oh man, I like this. Iron's working together. Uh, gotta get in the back of the line, buddy. 
<laughs> All right, hopefully uh, 52 casts is enough to kill this thing. We'll see, we'll see. I'm hoping that it is. I'm pretty sure that it is, but uh, people are going to be really annoyed if it isn't enough. It looks like it will be. All right, there we go. Should be good. TY everybody for waiting. Got uh, 50 points and then also 10 points. So we're 20 points away. So I'm going to try to find something pretty easy uh, in order to get this last relic. Not the last relic, but the next relic. All right, there we go. That's a herring. So we need uh, just to get some anchovies. I'm not sure why I didn't get anchovies. Oh, there we go. We just got anchovies. So we just got 4,000 points so we can unlock the next relic, which will be unnatural selection. That is the easiest decision that I've ever made. <laughs> we'll be able to choose our Slayer task. Uh, so we're probably going to take a break from tasks now and start doing a bit of Slayer. I'm going to choose a Hill Giants task, uh, and then we're going to get on our way. with a, um, We're going to go for a Dragon Defender. Oh, and now I want to use this Antique Lamp because we have the uh, passive Relic. Uh, which is time 16 experience. I'm pretty sure. Uh, let me just check real quick. Yeah, so your league multiplier is now 12 times, so we're going to slap this onto prayer now um, and get four levels. Dude, that is super, super awesome. All right, now that we have 50 Slayer, I think we should be able to choose Blood Bell. I'm not. Come on. Do I need to get 100? They're going to get level 80. Is. We got 50. I have 50. I don't understand. I don't understand. There we go. Slave 250 Slayer creatures. That is 50 points. Uh, we also got 1250 total level, which now we're at 4210. I'm not really working on the tasks right now. They're just kind of coming in passively. Um, I'm just working on 65 attack right now so that I can go into the Warriors Guild. And then hopefully... So I'll I'll choose a Hill Giants task, so it'll be good for the Giants that are in there, the Cyclopses. So those will count as a Slayer task while I'm going for the uh, Dragon Defender. There we go, that's 65 attacks, so we're going to go back to Strength. Actually, you know what, I might go to Defense to get a couple more levels, just to get that one up to level 60, because it's what, 57 now? Yeah, well, let's do that. Also, to get us a little, a little bit more combat. Alright, just finished that task. And we also got uh, pretty high up in the combat with the stats. So, you can pause that if you want to see it. But I'm going to go get another task. I think um, I'm going to go do... I'm going to go get the defender now. Oh, another cool thing is I have two long bones in my inventory. And I'm pretty sure I have one in the bank. And if I'm able to... Uh, do death to the Dordishan um, longbone. Yeah, I got three longbones. They're 4,500 construction experience each. And I'm very interested if that's going to be a 12 times multiplier because that'll get me straight to 55 um, in construction without having to do anything but the quest. So I'll have to do the quest at some point. I might stack up more bones. Because uh, that is one of my lower stats right now. But yeah, we're going to go grab the defender. Uh, and yeah. And that just so happens to be a 50 point task. So I picked up this steel armor set. Um, just throughout my journeys. We're just going to kill the uh, steel one. Which is fine. Uh, but I think I need to reach our prayer. I don't know. Is this guy going to hit me that hard? Doesn't look like it. What the heck? The helm crumbled to dust. I didn't realize that was even a thing. Gonna get ourselves a hill giant's task. Don't miss. Let's click that. That's the one to do that. Gonna go to our last location. We got 40 hill giants to kill. Uh, if we talk to this lady, she'll let us go in. And we'll be able to kill some cyclopses. Oh, you just gotta click on the door. <laughs> Another long bone. Yeah, buddy. Oh, that's like 50,000 construction experience. I'm just doing a birdhouse run now. Uh, um, my apple tree was ready. I guess I was recording when I thought I wasn't recording. But yeah, that is 62 Hunter as well. 
Just doing a quick birdhouse run. Dead. I think the plan is going to be to finish the deck death to the Dorgishan quest line. So I gotta do the Lost Tribe, Goblin Diplomacy, and then Death to the Dorg. And then I wanna see if I can hand in the five longbones that I got from uh, the Cyclopses and the other ogres. So we'll see because that could be some quick experience. And then I'll do Tears of Guthans after that. I think that's what the plan's gonna be. So I just completed the Lost Tribe quest and it get, it got me to 55 mining. Also it was a medium task, uh, so we got 50 points and we're up to 4,420. There we go, finished the quest which is 50 points earned, 47 ranged, that's awesome. Uh, but the main thing is, I want to test this out, actually I don't know if I can use this, okay yep yeah, we can use the bank, I just wasn't sure. Now here's the big ticket question. Does this work? I'll give you 5,000 GP for the bones you're carrying and for any you have in your bank. Try to reach. I'll try to teach you something about construction as well, but highly technical, so you won't understand it if you don't already have. Okay, I have 32. Fine. All right, let's see. Yes. Yes. Oh, 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 oh 270,000 experience in construction. Oh, baby, that is so good. Dude, we just jumped up so many levels. Let me look. Let me look. We, I, I forgot what we were just at. I, I think we just got 28 total levels there. But yeah, rank uh, 1,854 currently. I'm gonna log out to see what rank we are now, because uh, we got a bunch of total levels since. Yo, we're rank 1,149, and, and uh, I can go do. Ooh, Tears of Guthics will go into runecrafting. I don't know if I want that. Do I want that? Because, yeah, I, I mean, I may as well, because pure essence is kind of hard for me to get. So I'm going to do Tears of Guthics, uh, and then it'll go on to runecrafting, I guess. I mean, runecrafting is pretty darn fast, but I, ass I assume Herblore is going to be really, really fast soon. Uh, so, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, I mean, since our quest points are pretty low, we're not going to get too many tiers. But, I mean, it's better than nothing. It should get us past 40, but I don't know. We'll see. We're checking right now. Um, Yeah, runecrafting is our lowest stat. It'll put us... 42,000! Wow! Okay. Cool, cool. I mean, actually, that wasn't that great for tiers of gothics. Because we're on 12 multiplier. But, yeah, it's because we have pretty low quest points. But that... <laughs> I just another couple of levels. I gotta log out to see to see what the rank is, bro. Yo, we're sub 1000, rank 983, and we have some um, we have some herbs in the bank. So I'm gonna get some herbs. Uh, after this, I'll probably go back to the defender grind. But yeah, I mean that one was taken just so long. I wanted to just get this out of the way. But yeah, 60 construction, bro. That was so good. I haven't even done much construction at all, dude. Alright, so we got some Ranars. Alright, we're gonna make a couple prep potions and see what level we get. Nice, not bad. 42. Also, that's 40 base. And, uh, yeah, okay, that was the only one. But, yeah, we got three more levels from that. I'm going to do another herb run, probably a tree run. Now I have a tree run. I should be able to plant three trees, uh, but yeah sick this is sick we're starting to get up there oh yo i forgot we had a banana tree here bro that is 50 farmen coming in now we can do avento i'm gonna plant um a bunch of irits though i'm gonna pick some bananas to get a little bit more experience from that so it's not too bad i don't know if it's worth your time i don't really feel like paying this also i don't have yeah, we're gonna chuck a curry tree here, and hopefully it doesn't die. We're only using normal compost, which is ideal, but it is what it is. You can actually plant these in four spots. We got Brimhaven, Catherby, Gnome Stronghold, and Tree Gnome Village. Uh, so we'll be able to utilize all of the uh, trees. That Although, I guess I should plant the orange tree seed. Ah, whatever. I'm kind of late. Just gonna plant the apple tree because it's already grown. 
All right, I totally forgot about this quest, but there is 152,000 smithing experience. Dude, we just got, uh, what is that, nine smithing levels? Which is really, really easy and really, really nice. Uh, we're going to be completing the Holy Grail, as well as King's Ransom and the Knight's Training Grounds. All for some really, really good defense experience, as well as some other combat experience and air experience. Yo, this guy was super easy with this. Oh, he's super easy. Oh, man. He, <clears throat> he dropped a beer, bones, and insult giant head? Dude, I wish I could use that on this game mode, but I can't. Alright, this should be the end of the quest. It's gonna be super, super good. Wait a second. Where's my experience? Oh, there it is. Okay. 61 prayer and 65 defense. Oh man, that's awesome. We can wear Bando's armor. Uh, I'm probably not going to get that. But, um, yeah, I'm going to do King's Ransom next. And, well, I got to do Black Knight's Fortress first. So I'm going to do that, then the King's Ransom. And that will be a lot of defense experience. Alright, coming in with the King's Ransom quest completion. Dude, 396,000. Oh my god. Oh, that was a great defense experience. Also got a bunch of magic experience as well, but that is seven, 71 defense. And we also have an experience lamp, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to throw that into prayer. Um, I think so. Because that'll be 5 times 12, so 60,000. Yeah, dude. 63 prayer. Dude, that's sick. Um, we're gonna do the Knight's Training Ground next, I think. Because I don't have any food in my bank, and I don't feel like getting any. I'm probably just gonna flinch them. Uh, and yeah, that'll be that. I just gotta get a bunch of potions. Um, so that I can restore my, you know, my stats. Is they do drain your stats when they hit you, and they do sometimes hit you. Yeah, it's a fight to the death. Oh man, dude, I'm just basically tanking this. Oh my goodness, I'm doing them one at a time, and then basically just letting the next one kill me. Um, and you go in right at the and as the same one. So this guy shreds your defense, but that's fine. I'll be able to get him next time. So he got me this time, but I took on your other guy. And uh, we go back in. We pot up again. Right? Pot up again. And then we attack him. And then hopefully we get this down. This is the second to last guy, and then we'll kill Sir Lance a lot. We basically just gotta freaking outpace this dude. And um, we can just take a death every single time we, we get one of these guys down. But with this. Relic, man. It's so easy. Like, look, I'm shredding him. Oh, man. Oh, no. He might be able to get me. Oh, oh, I gotcha. I win. Alright, last guy. The cool thing is, you can do slash attacks pretty much with everything um, in this area, except for Sir Palamedes, which is Crush, so we're going to hunt up again take on this guy and hopefully done oh my goodness he's coming he's coming out strong I don't know I might have to flinch this dude look at this hitting hard um I might I might eat you know what let's let's try to let's try to eat I think he can hit a 28 I'm gonna eat I hit an 11 so he's he's draining my strength Okay, we might have to flinch this dude. Looks like we're gonna have to flinch him. Dude, this guy's a powerhouse. Oh my god, I'm definitely gonna have to flinch him. Alright, that was the second attempt. I'm going to just flinch that dude. To flinch him, you basically just hit him once and then get back here. You just gotta stuck him behind this little dummy here. And you wait for his HP bar to go away before you hit him. So, kinda like this. Walk back. And that's pretty much it. And we took him down. That should be the end of it. Oh my god, dude. Wow, you see that my experience drops. Oh my goodness, dude. 72 attack, 73 defense, 82 strength, and 74 hit points, bro. 
That is so nice. That's so nice. Okay, now that we have all of that out of the way, I think uh, we can also use uh, chivalry, by the way, which is a medium task. Uh, we don't quite have piety yet. That's at 70 prayer. But we're working towards it. We're working towards it. Um, so I'm going to go back to getting the uh, dragon defender because uh, I was working on that and I never ended up getting it. But we're pretty darn close now. And uh, yeah. Oh my god, it exists, dude. What the frick? Oh man, just for anybody out there wondering, I thought that it was maybe a glitch from teleporting out uh, to the monastery and then teleporting back in, but no, I can confirm that I teleported back in and I didn't go out because my tokens are really low. Uh, so I know that I ha I would wasn't able to go out. Oh, actually, that's a freaking hard task. Nice. Okay, so it wasn't worthless. We got... Okay. We got all the way up to 86 strength. 71 slayer. Um, and yeah, so... Basically, what I'm trying to do now is before I go to bed, I want to try to get sub 500 in ranks. So in order to do that, um, I'm going to do the Varrock easy diary and uh, i have a bunch of alcohol but i don't have enough nature runes so i'm gonna wait on alcohol and all that stuff i already got 150 if we look at our rune items we have 10 rune items adamant we have a couple of those and then mithril we have a couple of those as well i didn't pick up the steel stuff but yeah i'm gonna go finish the varak diary the easy diary and that's probably gonna be where i end the video uh, I'll probably do a farm run as well. I got a bunch of trees that I can... Ah, oh, man. I've been wanting to do this since freaking day one of the uh, the leagues. I took a chef's hat. Finally got it from a goblin. It only took all these stats to get there, though. But it should be a medium task. Yo. That's all of the easy tasks in Varrock. All right, we're gonna slap this into runecrafting. Yes, the reason why I'm doing this is because runecrafting is pretty difficult to get the pure essence with the areas that I've unlocked. Uh, so we need to get four levels there. Uh, and I need to get another 10 levels somehow. So I go, I don't know, should I just do some training? Just quickly get that up. I'm gonna do an herb run. Uh, see how far that gets me and then maybe do some range. Alright, bro. That is 56 range. Got it from 47. And uh, I'm going to be a little upset if this isn't sub 500 rank. Uh, because I've been... I had to push another three levels because it kept updating. So I'm going to check real quick. Let me see. Yes, rank 497. I know I'm not gonna hold that overnight. I'll probably be, I don't know, rank 1,000 or 1,500 by the time I wake up. Cause I'm gonna sleep as long as I want. But uh, tomorrow we're gonna push for, I guess, rank 250 or rank 300. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed episode three of this series. I'm starting to enjoy it a little bit more now that I'm getting the ranks up and kind of climbing back. Uh, kind of uh, a rank sleeper. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time.